here about a five-month-old baby who is also doing a lot of traveling. In fact, uh, you, some may call it the trip of a lifetime in hopes of breaking a Guinness World Record. Look at this. Meet Harper Yeats. She's a tiny traveler on a mission to become the youngest <laughs> member of the All 50 States Club. How cute is this? Her mom and dad have been taking pictures uh, and documenting their, well, I guess, four, five-month-old uh, journey wow. on Instagram. She is just adorable. It all started in June as a way to take advantage of mom's maternity leave. So far, they've been to, well, there was, that was Minnesota, right? Yeah. To more than 40 states and will complete their trip in Vermont next Thursday. Uh, Missouri, Harper's parents have already applied to the Guinness World Records to have her certified. She is absolutely That's awesome. adorable. That's like the coolest baby book ever that they're going to have. <laughs> So that's your baby fix for today. That is fantastic. All right, check this out. Have you heard about this new company they now? They created uh, beer for dogs. No. Yeah, there's a new company. They, they're like, you know, well, we should go with like a barley drink for pooches. So they've got that. And then we've got now apparently ice skating dogs in Vegas. We need to go to Vegas. Check this out. That is fantastic. An ice skating dog. Look at that. He was even kind of, uh, did you see him doing the crossover right there? He's got some moves. That's that's amazing. Well, and like dogs love to play fetch, so why would he not go get that stick, hockey <laughs> right. stick? Uh, that's Benny, a yellow lab. Apparently, everyone's falling in love with him. This is a, a rescue dog too. She was rescued, I guess, last minute from a shelter. Um, the owner found him kind of last minute. Now Benny <clears> is uh, giving a whole new meaning to fetch, <laughs> retrieving hockey sticks. Um, already a. Uh, She's a big, or he, Benny, is a big hit at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. But yeah. I think that uh, maybe he could make it on, you know, be like opening act for the uh, Las Vegas Golden Knights. Look they at that a, dog. That is, we need to bring him in for the uh, Fargo Force games. Yes. We should they work have, like, on that. Puppy bowls. Now we can have like puppy like, playoffs. They have like wiener dog races, but yeah. this is way cooler that he actually has <laughs> ice skates on. <laughs> they light up. I can't believe he's like doing the turning and crossing over and the whole. That's incredible. Labs are smart dogs, <clears throat> though. That's good stuff. Okay, and I know that you've been missing out on our royal talk because the TMZ <laughs> talk. <laughs> you're always like, who is this now? And this I one's going to be very difficult for you. But it is a big day. British royalty gathered at Windsor Castle today for the wedding of Queen Elizabeth's granddaughter, Princess Eugenie. She got married to her longtime boyfriend, Jack Brooksbank. Eugenie is 28, the younger daughter of the Queen's third child, Prince Andrew, and his ex-wife, Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York. Eugenie follows in the footsteps of her cousin, Prince Harry, <clears throat> so you follow that. Prince Harry is her, Prince Harry and, and William, their cousins. Um, they also got married in the castle's 15th century St. George's Chapel wow. in May. Oh, see, <clears throat> there she is. Beautiful, she looks. I, what I liked about this, because I watched a lot of this this morning. Oh, there's, there's Kate. I love right. that uh, Kate kind of took it up a notch and looked fabulous, because she's, I love that she's known for like re-wearing stuff. I mean, we had a story not so long ago, she had wore some boots she bought 15 years ago and um, re-wears a lot of things, but she looks absolutely beautiful. And Harry and Meghan were there. But anyway, I was gonna say, this was way more relaxed. I just feel like, you know, the other one, more Harry chill, and yeah. well, it was, you know, dress code and strict and, you know, and this just looks like this is gonna be a real party, so. If I brought in a blackboard and had magnets of every single like, Person Where they, in England. I think, what did I say? Like, I think Would she's like eighth, to eighth like in line of the family tree, and like, okay, here's this person. Oh, ninth, and she's ninth in line to the throne. So I mean, she she would be a ways down. I mean, could you lay it out and be like, all right, here's Queen? I don't. I'm not like super great with all of the royal <laughs> stuff, but I, you know, it's like a fairy tale wedding. It's a princess getting <clears> married, <throat> and when they have actual real jewels in their tiaras. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. I love a love story anyway. Okay, it's OCD Awareness Week, and coming up here on North Dakota Today, we're talking with an expert about how common it is and also how misunderstood this condition is.